Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, what I am doing is I have a bunch of titanium bolts to install. So as you can see, I currently have some titanium upper nickel piping and this titanium uh, blower valve piping. So I think it's time to get rid of these crusty valve cover bolts, fuel rail, um, these dress up bolts which I terribly painted, and a few others. So I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so this is what we have to install today. So these are all made by JD Customs USA and have been supplied by the guys at Top Tier Parts and Performance in Australia. So yeah, massive thanks to the guys there at Top Tier Parts and Performance as they're actually helping me out with a great price on these. And they've also decided to give me a discount code. So if you guys want to buy any of these products that are made by JD Customs USA, um, so when you shop at Top Tier Parts and Performance, um, there's a code that you can put in. So you can put in the code JTRAIN, and you actually get 5% off. So let's go through what we've got. Uh, we have the valve cover hardware kit. So these bolts here are all for the valve cover itself. And we also will have the coil cover and uh, fuel rail and other random bolts just to tidy up the whole area. So that's the complete kit. You can just buy it, just those ones by themselves or you can get the complete kit. Um, also decided to get some titanium strut tower hardware as well. So we've got the two bolts for the middle and all these for the strut. Um, got a headlight hardware kit as well. So four bolts for the headlights and also the power steering reservoir kit. Okay, so if you'd like to pick up any of these, um, then go check out top tier parts and performance website. Um, as I said, they are the Australian distributor and also have some other great brands on their website. So I'll put up a sample clip of their website on the side of the screen. And as you can see, there's some great stuff on there. And being that they are the distributor of JD Customs, obviously they have all their products. They also have many other great parts and other great brands. Uh, there's also some stuff uh, for the 789 Evo guys, because um, yeah, JD Customs actually makes a lot of parts for those guys' platform as well. They also have some other brands like Club Spec Customs and um, yeah, a few others. So yeah, make sure you check them out. Um, and if you do and you want to buy any of the JD Customs, just remember that the 5% discount code, which is JTRAIN, is only for the JD Customs parts. So if you want to buy anything else, Definitely look after, um, these guys look after you, but yeah, the discount code will just be for that particular brand. So anyway, let's, um, let's get to installing these. So I'll start off with something really easy. I might start off with this power steering reservoir kit. So not the biggest, ugliest bolts here. They're not like these ones, really crusty or anything, but um, while getting titanium, I figured why not Grab these ones as well. So yeah, let's start off. It's gonna be two 12 mils and we'll place with these two. Okay, so let's get one of these out and swap it. One of our new titanium ones. Oh yeah, that looks way better. It's a little Little subtle touch. Um, let's just get them both in now. Let's get a quick hand tighten. Yeah, those look amazing. So, yeah, we've got a a lot more of those to put in. So I might grab these two bolts out now and that's what we'll replace next. And let's go to do this one. Have a look at the difference. It's just a work of art compared to this crusty thing. I'll try and get that in so you can have a quick look before I actually tighten it. Comparison, so yeah, at least suits the theme of the car, too. Obviously, with the 
sort of blue carbon and titanium theme that I've gone for. So how about I just um, get the other one out and get them both in because God, they look so much better. I'm going to get these three off. This one's always a bit of a hard one to get, being that it's down in, hidden in behind here, but I um, will get that one off and I'll just throw all three on and show you one side compared to the other. Alright guys, here is the three bolts on and the two in the middle. Let's show you the difference. Here's our standard ones we took off. These are the, re the replacements. So yeah, it's um, looks great in my mind. Big improvement. I'll just tighten these now. But they're on by hand. And so yeah, it really flows a lot better now. So now I think we'll move on to our main one, which is gonna be all our valve cover, um, coil cover, and everything. So yeah, Next up, these. as I said, we're doing these. Sort of quickly check these two out compared to the dress-up bolts I had. So yeah, massive improvement. And then here is one of the valve cover bolts I've taken out compared to our titanium one. So, massive difference. Let's get that in there, hand tightened. And I do want to eventually um, respray my valve cover. It's the second time I've painted it myself, and I'm still not happy with the job. But, yeah, especially now that these bolts aren't as big, so you're going to see my terrible stripped paint because I put this on when it was still a bit wet, and so it, when I tightened these bolts, it's kind of stripped all the paint. So I'm kind of considering getting this um, and the fuel rail and the strut bar probably done professionally, but in the same colour in the future. Um, it looks pretty good on camera, but yeah, I'm not exactly happy with it in person. It's, you know, it's not perfect, it's not exactly smooth. I missed a few spots, like over here, it's not as blue as it should be, and down in this section. And especially now with these bolts. Um, but yeah, so I'd let you guys know that there may be something happening. Probably do it off camera because it's going to look the same but just be better in person. But yeah, there's our difference. So between this and this, and this one, and this one. So I'm going to keep going, get all these ones out, and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, guys, bit of an update. Um, I've got a bunch of the titanium ones in the valve cover going right around. I've got the four in here for the coil cover. I've put two in here in the fuel rail. Um, and I've actually put a little password JDM washer in there, which I may, it's a black one, I may change it for one of these blue ones, which I think might go better. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm putting the headlight ones in. So that's it here. Normally you have the other one would go here. But as I have the radium catch cans with this um, black bracket, I might leave this. I've decided to put the other one here because I feel like that sort of flows a bit better there. Um, I feel like ordering a few more of these ones and sort of replacing these. But yeah, when will it end if that's the case? Um, over here, I've just put one in so far. So yeah, I think I'll put the other one here to sew those two are together rather than one here kind of not really needed as much. I think there will be a better option. And I still have a bunch of the valve cover ones left to do. Um, so right around the back, all the way along, um, and the ones under here. Um, I'm not as worried about changing the ones that go under there as they're not seen until I pull this coil cover off to sort of change my um, spark plugs or anything. So I may just leave those as spare. Bit of a pro tip, if you want to save some money and you have someone else who has a coil cover and you just want the fuel around here, maybe go halves in a, in a set, <laughs> might be an option. Um, but yeah, so I might just put this last one in here, see if I have any left that can go elsewhere, then I'll just um, get some light and show you guys the end result of how it all is looking. Hi right, guys, so here is the finished product. Got them all in as far as I can do. So 
two headlight ones I put here and here. Got this extra one here and an extra one there. So I really like that corner now. It looks really good, all titanium. Probably going to order an extra few so I can have one here and here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind those two as well. But yeah, so that's that corner. We here have these two. Two power steering and I put an extra one there. It's holding in my um, brake reservoir heat shield. Got all our strut bar ones. And then for the um, coil cover, I have obviously these four. And then the valve cover, it's got the few running along the front and the sides. One at the back, probably a bit dark to see that one. So I still have, um, I think, five to do at the back here, and then all the ones underneath the coil cover. I'm not as worried as those about those, as you don't really see them. And then lastly, I just have these two in here for the uh, fuel line. So, yeah, really happy with it. Definitely added an extra little pop. Like, I can see the ones in the strut bar from ages away. I'm not sure if the camera picks the color up as much, but you can definitely see it with your eye. And those um, headlight ones. This little corner here looks really good. So yeah, really happy with that. Again, massive thanks to the guys at Top Tier Performance Parts and also JD Customs USA for making these. Um, make sure you go check out Top Tier Performance. I'll have a link in the description. And also make sure you use my code, JTRAIN, to get 5% off any of these. Um, it's not a big discount, but definitely saves a lot. If you're putting you know, in a decent order and getting all of this, then it's gonna save you a bit of money, which is always good. So yeah, big thanks to those guys. And yeah, really happy with the way the engine bay is coming along now. Um, obviously, a few more pieces I would like to get. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'd like to repaint my valve cover at some stage. But it's come a long way. This literally was a stock engine bay, other than upper intercooler piping and an AEM airbox in about seven months ago. And I've done all this in that time. So yeah, really happy with it. It's looking a lot better. Alright guys, small update, um, it's later on in the night, so don't have much light to really show you, but I decided since I have this carbon coil cover, don't really need the titanium bolts in there as much, I'd rather them somewhere where I can see them. So I actually ended up putting them all down into the intake manifold there. Um, they are the ones for the valve cover, so they have the... Um, can't think of the word, but yeah, the, the thread that's designed to go into the valve cover, but that's fine, you don't really notice it. But they look a lot better there. Now, hopefully the light's not just blowing that out too much. And over here, I ended up putting one onto um, where the bonnet struts go, on either side. So it looks a lot better that way which means I had to put what I did have there originally uh, in the bonnet strut. I've put just some valve cover ones here with a spacer. So now there is only two left. So one there, one over here that aren't titanium. Um, and I have one titanium bolt left, which um, is going to go uh, probably, I don't know, there's one more, I think, in here that I'll probably um, put the titanium, the valve cover one in. But yeah, all the way around, up the sides, the back, not too worried about, you don't see those. So, yeah, just thought I'd add that in. Um, so I think that'll be it for today's video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you go check out some of my previous videos as there's a few how-tos, such as how to paint your valve cover, your strut bar, and uh, install this upper intercooler piping with links to some of the products. And definitely, yeah, go check out Top Tier Performance. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos in the future. I have two every week. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.